Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Enterprise, Season 1, Episode 16, Fusion. So this could have been potentially a really good episode, and realistically compared to like the last episode, it was actually pretty decent. So this one is about like Archer and the crew encounter some Vulcans, and right away we realize they're not the standard Vulcan. They like have some personality, and then like while they're all eating dinner together... Um, he asked to try Archer's chicken, and Archer's like, your people are vegetarians, and this is me. And he's like, it looks delicious. Like, okay, you're kind of creepy, but whatever. And then, sure enough, it turns out that these are a special group of Vulcans that decide to have embraced their emotions. Okay, for one, that's just called Romulans at this point, but whatever. I'm not going to go there. Different discussion. And two, like, at this point, like... I, I realize this takes place long before Kirk, I get that, but, like, the the whole movie about Spock's brother and how he's looking for Shaka Ri, which I still laugh because it's just Sean Connery, like, why couldn't they have, like, tied those two together? Like, they give this, this group a name that I didn't even care enough to write down about, to be honest with you, but, like, they should have just tried to connect these two things of, like, Cybok or whatever Spock's brother's name was and these group of Vulcans that also have personality. Like, to connect those two things would have been great because most people like to pretend that Star Trek V doesn't exist anyway, but, like, to connect them, I think, would have been brilliant and kind of a no-brainer, but they don't, and they're not connected but whatever and so this whole episode is just about people like talking to Vulcans that have personality and they ask all the weird sex questions and like they kind of bring up Pon Far a little bit and then finally we get to the whole like assault thing where one of the Vulcans does a mind meld with T'Pol who has never heard of a mind meld like evidently between now and a hundred years ago or a hundred years from now when Spock comes around mind melds just become willy-nilly everyday things because I swear to God Spock did a mind meld every other episode so evidently in the hundred years Vulcans learn, learn a lot from these people and he forces her into it against her will and it becomes an assault and like at this point like this episode took a dark twist at that point and then Archer's conversation with this guy was intense where he's just like oh how's it going oh yeah that's cool yeah yeah I got gotcha. you okay by the way, you assaulted my science officer. And like he like attacks this Vulcan who throws him across the room. And I was like, Archer, like three episodes ago, you knocked out a Vulcan in one punch. Like you're getting your ass kicked right now. So something's not adding up there. But like the whole episode, like after the twist right there was kind of interesting. But like it's it's one of the, it's those prequel curses. Like it doesn't make sense when you take something that's established in canon and you're like, oh, but that's a new development. Like, I don't know. I'm just not understanding this series. I'm not getting it. So any guy, any comments you guys can leave to help me understand, because evidently I'm missing it, please do. Uh, thank you guys for everything, and I will see you guys next time for Rogue Planet.